X-Men issue 11 heads to Arako Point on Krakoa, where a group of mutants head to see someone, someone they're not supposed to talk to. Soon they reach the Summoner, who they find playing a type of game, learning that it's a game that he played as a child, but it's certainly not a game for children. The mutants ask how it works, finding it depends on the player since each game is unique. The Summoner says the game's name doesn't translate properly, but the closest word to it is Test. He says that it's a game about discovering the soft places inside both participants and about finding weaknesses. Rockslide decides to give it a go, learning once the game begins, it cannot be stopped until it ends. Picking up a game piece, it turns into a miniature version of him when suddenly the island is besieged by three Kotari ships, which race towards the island. The next day, around a fire, Exodus asks the young mutants there if they are afraid after many mutants died the day before. The mutant children aren't, since they know the mutants will be resurrected. Exodus reminds them that despite that, they need to remember that people did die, since while they can erase the effect of death, they cannot erase the cause. He asks again if they are afraid, and the kids say that they don't fear death, only man and those like him. The children ask why don't they just stop man, and Exodus says that they cannot stop someone from being what they are, since destroying them makes mutants no better than humans. He tells the children to live and love, and leave the progress to the adults. He proceeds to tell the children the whole story of what happened the previous day as the Katari invade Krakoa, but Magneto is called to help the people. Magic arrives to tell Eric what is happening outside, telling him Charles has gotten most of the innocents off the island and into the Atlantic bunker, but there still will be casualties. Knowing that this is the third attack in as many months, Eric tires of all of them, wanting to know where Cyclops is, learning that the attack originated on the moon, and Scott is apparently there on the front lines. He asks if Magic is off to join him, and Ileana wants to go, saying that she was hoping to leave the island in Eric's capable hands. Suiting up, Magneto meets the Katari forces head on, killing many as he makes his way to meet Mindy, asking the Cuckoo if one of them is in touch with Command. Linking their minds, Eric talks with Sage, wanting her to locate Magma and Iceman, learning Sage has taken control of multiple satellites above the island, using them to monitor the situation, and learning this invasion is happening all over the world, but the mutant offensive on the moon is limiting the Katari strike range. On the ground, Black Tom keeps the island-wide defenses going as the Katari are pushed back. Magma is soon located, trying to take out one of the ships with an eruption. Eric wonders if she tapped into a deep enough vein near the island in case of emergencies like they talked about, learning she did in fact do that, wondering if Eric wants her to blow it up. Eric wants her to, but wants to keep it contained, since he really doesn't want to have to create an ecological disaster to deal with. Magma can't make any promises, however she is excited to see the possibilities of blowing open a vein. Using her powers, Magma blasts open the vein under the island, bringing 20 tons of liquid iron to the surface. Eric asks Iceman to cool the iron down, creating iron spears, which after donning his helmet, Magneto throws at the Katari, killing a huge horde as the Katari general kills yet another mutant, unimpressed with how weak the mutants are. His war beast is soon killed by Magneto's Iron Rain, angering him, and he demands to know who dares cross him. Magneto confronts him, saying that he dares, telling him it's kind of a failing that has plagued him his whole life. He orders the Katari off the island, and if they leave, they will be left in peace, offering friendship. The general isn't interested in niceties, saying that he is a forest, and that he is the world, and they don't lose, and humans are just meat and nothing but their food. The general says that he is not going anywhere, and if it's a fight the mutants want, then a fight they will get. Magneto says that he has already won, as he drops all of the satellites above the island on the general, crushing him to death. He tells Mindy to apologize to Sage for destroying her satellites, getting her to forward payments to the respective governments who own the satellites. She asks about the military ones, but Eric tells her that if the military asks about them, she is to say they don't know, just like how they weren't meant to know the satellites were there in the first place. Magneto intends to head to the moon to end the war, as as Exodus finishes his story, saying that that is what a hero is, and it's what a hero does. He asks the children to name the hero, and the children all enthusiastically yell Magneto. Exodus confirms their words, saying that it is indeed Magneto, 
show, and he is a mutant. X-Men issue 11 was a fantastic little tie-in to Empire, but also a great self-contained story about the hero of Krakoa, Magneto. It was really fun seeing Magneto just kind of going to town on the Kotati and in a really commanding, smart way. I loved him coordinating with all the different mutants, specifically Magma and Iceman, to create metal for him to use as a type of island defense missile system. It's great seeing Eric leading the X-Men and being the guy in charge during a war, because really who else would you want to call to lead your men during a war? The framing with Exodus telling the story as kind of a piece of propaganda to little kids and trying to like influence them is great and very on brand for the weird and creepy rebranding Hickman has given the X-Men. And I look forward to that continuing through his run, just these little cutaways to Exodus telling these stories to kids to, I guess, frighten them and inspire them in very creepy ways. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10.